Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover the Timeline tool, which is a very, very straightforward tool that's been in uh, the in WaveMaker since ooh, version one. Now, the Timeline tool is very straightforward. It uh, literally allows you to create a timeline where you uh, enter parts of your story and you can rearrange them. So you could, this is a great way for me of uh, getting ideas straight in my head in terms of events. So you would literally start with by writing a little scene note. Now, you can move these around. So you can say, well, uh, let's have the prologue. I hate prologues, but you could do that. Uh, and you can have a block of text about the prologue where you tell them about Lord Voldemort's rise to power and the dark elves and whatever. And then you would introduce your character. You might say, uh, oh, has an adventure. Now, the thing this does that didn't used to happen in WaveMaker 2 is that once you've created your timeline, it was pretty much just a, a resource for reference but you could start writing your storyline in terms of scenes here which can then be if you look at the top right hand court, corner exported straight into the writing tool so if you click on that button it will export the data into the writer tool now in this case it appears down here as a little timeline icon and you'll find that your content is there that can be moved around quite easily, dragged and dropped into position, copied and pasted, and you can even delete it when you're done. Now, if you delete that, it does not delete the timeline information in the timeline tool. It stays there. So if you want to make changes, you can do and export it again later on. Now, WaveMaker is free software. I hope you enjoy using it. If you do, please consider supporting me. I have a Patreon uh, and you can become a patron by following the links either on my website or in the comments below.